It was a hot summer day, chilled by a few homemade popsicles, as we were about to go on an urban journey showcasing sustainable practices intended to reduce waste. Our journey began at Kailash Eco Village, an eco community located in an apartment building in inner southeast Portland. This is Kailash's compost yard. It's where we make our own compost from kitchen scraps. Residents collect their kitchen scraps in containers inside their own units and they bring them here, dump them into their bins, cover them with garden refuse, and within half a year, all this will be converted into usable compost. In the Eco Village, urine is collected into these large tanks that you see before you. Urine is an abundant source of nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, things your plants need. People collect their urine in personal containers and then they bring them here and deposit them into these funnels. Then after half a year, all the pathogens would have died and the urine will be ready to nourish the gardens once it's diluted with water. This is the humanure station. It's where we store our poop. Some residents use a composting toilet where they collect their poop covered with wood chips into a personal bucket. Then they bring it here to this yard where the composting team deposits it into these bins. Then, within a year, it will be converted to safe to use compost. Kailash has a lot more sustainable practices worth showing, such as bike amenities, a closed drying line, an outdoor shower, and so much more. But with limited time, we hit the road with our bikes. We rode for a little over 10 minutes through typical calm inner southeast neighborhood streets to get to the People's Food Co-op, a local grocery store. This store sells locally grown produce, as well as package-free dry goods, soaps, and more. You can bring your own container, measure its weight, and fill it up from the many bins. Useful bin labels indicate where the food comes from, in case you would rather buy locally sourced foods. After visiting this awesome community-owned and worker-run grocery store, we rode across the beautiful Lads neighborhood. Crossing Hawthorne Boulevard on 16th Avenue, we rode into the Buckman neighborhood, then turned left on Stark to reach our next destination, Mama's and Hapa's Zero Waste Shop. The store focuses on refillable items and eco products and has branch locations around town. I'm Ross Cheng and my wife and I started Mama and Hapa's Zero Waste Shop. And it's a shop that exists to limit our single-use plastic usage. The idea is instead of throwing away your plastic bottle and then buying a new dish soap bottle at the store, you can just refill that same bottle. And so we have 55 dispensers and you can refill your laundry liquid, your body wash, basically anything in your house that is liquid that's not edible. Next, we rode into Northeast Portland and crossed Highway 84 on Northeast 21st Avenue. After winding through several streets well shaded by old growth trees, we turned onto Northeast Broadway, reaching our final destination on this ride, the Realm Refillery. This store focuses on local package free goods, but also sells produce and packaged eco products. In other parts of the world, this is a very common way of shopping. Um, but in America, we are very subjected to a small amount of big box names and brands. And I just wanted to facilitate a space where people could come, make sure they had a plastic free shopping experience. They can get as little or as much as they need and not be subjected into a certain amount of packaging. And then also be able to find ethical and good brands that they were wanting to support. And it was easy to do so. 
It's great that you can bring your own container to the store and easily keep track of its weight with the microchip tag as you fill it up. You may also grab one of the used containers the store provides for free.